I'm Erin Fury, Associate Crafts Editor at Martha Stewart. A classic velvet hair bow is a great accessory for winter, and these are simple and inexpensive to make. You will need assorted hair clips, velvet ribbons, scissors, and glue. There are so many different types of bows that you can make, and so many different hair accessories like combs and clips and headbands and bobby pins. I'm starting with a little tuxedo bow, just like this one. Measure approximately how much ribbon you're gonna need. I don't think I want mine to be much bigger than this, so snip. I think I'd like for my bow to be just about this long. Snip the excess, and then using some of this great jewelry glue, place a dab of glue right in the center of the ribbon. Fold your first half into the ribbon, and make the first loop and then measure to make sure these look even. Apply some more glue and fold your second end of your ribbon in. And don't worry if this looks a little frayed or imperfect because you'll be covering it up with another ribbon bit. To finish, take another small bit of ribbon that is just long enough to wrap around the center and meet itself in the back. Snip the excess, and before you glue it, just make sure that it is perfectly centered. With a bit more of your glue on the back of the bow, fold one half in, and the final bit, before the glue dries completely, just make sure this is centered. That looks pretty beautiful to me. So while this is drying, we'll make another type of bow. Let's use this navy velvet. Again, it's this gorgeous double-sided velvet. It doesn't have to be, but it does make it very luxe looking. My navy blue bow will be maybe about an inch and a half, so I'm just gonna estimate by making two folds. I'd like it to be about this big, so I'll snip here. That already looks pretty cute, so I'm gonna glue it right down. One dot, and then right at that intersection, another dot of glue. And again, before this glue completely sets, you can adjust the loops to make sure that they're perfect and, and matching. So once this is set up a little bit, you can trim the ends so they're nice and even. It's a pretty cute little bow. I think this tuxedo bow will work nicely on a comb. Apply a thin line of Deco Princess glue to the comb. Place the bow nice and centered right on the glue and let that set up until it's completely dry. I think for my navy blue bow, I'll use a bobby pin. This could be applied right into a bun or a braid. This bobby pin has a perfect little place to apply my bow. I decided to make a golden beige version because it matches my dress perfectly and I can't wait to add a touch of velvet to all of my outfits. 